Hey, welcome to another episode of Talking with Doc. You ever wondered how to read an x-ray report? Not, you had an x-ray, you yep. got a report. I don't mean how to read it, like what is this word? I mean like, what does it mean? Okay, we get this question all the time. How do I read my report? What, is all the, what do all the words mean? Words. So now we're gonna do a little, this is the first of possibly a series, if it works out, we don't know exciting. if it will. Exciting. We're gonna cover different body parts. Today we're talking about the knee. Okay. We see a lot of knees. Okay. So we're gonna jump into it. We're gonna read a knee report from a real radiologist. This is the reports that we get and you get, and we're gonna break it down for you. Okay, we each are gonna have one. Okay, here we go. So first thing I see is leg length discrepancy, none apparent, allowing for valgus alignment. So often we'll get x-rays right from your hip to your ankle. So it tells us not only whether your legs are straight or crooked, so varus or bow-legged or knock-kneed or valgus. Hip varus means you're bow-legged. Valgus means you're not me. Okay, and leg length discrepancy, whether your legs are actually the same length. Okay. So a lot of people think their legs are different lengths, often they are not. All okay. Right, cool. Oh, we're going like point counterpoint? Sure. Or you can just, let's finish yours. Yes. So the next thing it talks about is you can see the hip. It says right hip arthroplasty appears stable. So they looked at old components and it says nothing has changed. It doesn't look like anything is awry. With respect to the knee, it talks about severe lateral joint space narrowing. So the distance between the thigh bone or the femur and the shin bone, and as that space decreases, that's what arthritis is, so joint space narrowing, with something called subchondral sclerosis. So underneath the joint line, the bone just under the cartilage gets bright white on an x-ray, and this means that it's typically doing more work and seeing a more significant load. And it says bony remodeling as well as peripheral osteophyte formation. Osteophytes are small little growths of bone that your body uses to try to stabilize an unstable joint. And if you live to infinity, it's like you're trying to fuse your joint. Osteophytes, so extra bone of variable significance depending on the situation. Dude, I had no idea your knees were so arthritic. Sore. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's not you. No, it's not oh, me. I was gonna say. And then the you last sit down. The last unique term that I have here is faint chondrocalcinosis. So a meniscus is a soft tissue that you actually can't see on x-ray unless it has calcification in it. So sometimes the radiologist will comment on this. You done? Yeah, what else you got? Okay, I got one here, a knee x-ray. And the first thing it says under findings is marked, these are not my knees. Okay. Marked medial compartment joint space narrowing with small osteophytes and subchondral, subchondral sclerosis. We can use something we've already learned in this video because you had that in your x-ray report too. And you I explained did. that the medial joint space is narrowed your case was the lateral joint space. Yes. The medial on the inside, it's narrowed, means some of the cartilage is worn out. Sclerosis is that white in the bone underneath the cartilage. This then says minor degenerative change at the lateral compartment, moderate at the patella. So we often break the knee into three compartments, yep. the medial compartment or the inside, the lateral compartment or the outside, or the patellofemoral compartment, the part under the kneecap. Okay. So in this case, it's worse in the medial compartment, a little bit in the lateral compartment, and somewhere between the two in the patellofemoral compartment. Yep. <clears throat> then, oh wait, that was, that was the right knee, and then it goes on to the left knee, which looks very similar. This one also talks about the hip, but we're gonna do the hip in another video. So now you know what the words mean. What we're gonna to try to do is words. we're gonna follow up this video when we actually show the pictures, and we're gonna use the little mouse to identify yeah. the same words that you've learned, but now you know what the words mean when sometimes you don't have access to your images and you're just looking at the report and you think, is this really bad, do I need to see somebody? Now you know, and if you like this video. We're gonna review real quick. Joint space narrowing yes. means the cartilage is worn, so the bones are getting closer to each other. You might even see bone on bone yep. in your x-ray report, which means the bone's rubbing on the bone, no more cartilage. Yes. Osteophytes, those little bumps that result from arthritis. Yes. Subchondral sclerosis, the white lines that appear in the bone yep. indicating arthritis. And then the alignment they can comment on. If it's varus, means you're bow-legged. If it's valgus, means you're not being this. Now you know. If you like this video, please like it. Subscribe to our channel. Check out our long-form content over on YouTube. And remember, you are in charge of your own health. And now you can read your own knee x-ray report. We'll see you next time.